early in 2022 and made a video about the lack of amusement parks in the state of Arizona. While Arizona is in a weird area, it's pending between California to the west, where you have Disney, Universal Studios, Cedar Fair Parks, SeaWorld dominating the state, and to the east we have Texas with multiple Six Flags and SeaWorld parks. But we cannot forget about the amusement parks to the north, where you have Elish Garlands in Denver and then Silverwood Theme Park in Idaho. But in Arizona, there are only a small amount of amusement parks. And when I mean small, like very small size amusement parks. And the main one being in Phoenix, Arizona, castles and coasters. Intro, please. Located in the North Mountain Village of Arizona is the Family Fun Center and Music Park, Castles and Coasters. I went to this small park early last year, and I have to say it's more Family Fun Center than amusement park. But before Castles and Coasters came rolling along, it came out the last days of Phoenix Originals theme park, Legend City, a western theme amusement park owned by Louis E. Crandall that was located in the Phoenix suburb of Tempe, if you want to call Tempe a suburb of Phoenix. But it was open in 1963, but Legend City had a so-so run. Well, it wasn't a good run. It suffered financial stability and it changed the owners a dozen of times. In 1983, the park was closed and then demolished to only be replaced by SRP and other office buildings. But going back to 1976, Castles and Coasters opened as Golf and Stuff. But that same year, another family entertainment center, probably even bigger than that park, that goes by the name Castle Park, located in Riverside, California. I guess there was a tiny boom of these type of amusement parks opened up everywhere. But anyways, moving on, at one in time, Phoenix did have multiple amusement parks in the metropolitan area, just to say. But from 1976 to 1992, it was just known as a family entertainment area, where the arcade and mini golf. But, in 1992, they decided to expand. The park added two roller coasters, thus changing the name to Castles and Coasters. Now, the park is themed in, I don't, I wouldn't say it's weird, but the park's theme is a mixture of Middle Eastern motif with a pinch of Wild West, and particularly in its mini golf course and log fume ride. Now, the Tanerica Park features four outdoor 18 hole mini golf, two roller coasters, an indoor arcade, a go kart track, two water rides, one called Splashdown, a fume ride theme after a logging expedition through Polynesia, featuring drop hills. Like I said the theme is quite weird. And as I forget, it's also pinned in between a mall and a freeway. But moving on, the park also includes bumper cars and a 120 foot tall free draw top, however. With views of the city called Skydiver. Now, what's drawing the park in is Death of Storm, the park's premier roller coaster that can be seen off the Interstate 17. The coaster is a double looping steel roller coaster manufactured by Hopkins Rides. Well, Hopkins Rides is responsible for attractions such as Texas Tornado, a steel roller coaster located at Wonderland Amusement Park in Amarillo, Texas. But back to Death of Storm. The steel roller coaster has two vertical loops. The second loop interlocks with the first 360 degree turn to another 360 degree turn as well. And guests nearly dodge the splashdown fume ride that lays below. The other coaster in the park is Patriot. It's more of a family roller coaster with the least thrills. Now, on my first visit, and maybe my only visit, was a rather interesting one. Now, I did create a video of my first time there. Well, my friend was scared, but not as scared as his ad. Hey, hey, let me take a second to tell you something. Uh, on Lone Wolf Adventure TV, I would appreciate it if you guys hit that like, hit that share button, even comment down in the comment section down below. And you also can follow me on Instagram. I'm not on Twitter or Facebook, just Instagram. So go do it. Do it now. Like Shia LaBeouf says. Let's do it. Well, I did have a video of him being scared, but you know what? Let me get it right quick. 
size of this one over here yeah. is worse than that. Yeah, because it keeps going up and down like this. This only drop you one time. I can do one time. This, that, I mean, one time, that's it. You let a little girl beat you. This yeah. little girl right here beat yeah. you. Okay, stomachs, that's the thing. All right, in Texas, that's the You lying. can deal with this, the air and all the follicles and stuff, you know, can deal with the pressures that's coming from the skydiver. Now, for myself, I weigh 240, so the pressures are a little bit different. With the matter and atoms and autonomy, all of those stuff in one causes that to have natural gases and pressures that are different. And so, with that being said, it's why I can't do it and she can. You hear that excuse, right? I'm going to make sure he finds out about this. I will. I, well, he know I don't like roller coasters. Yeah, I'll make sure everybody find out about your again. You know what? I'm just going to post this somewhere. I'm scared of roller coasters. Let that be done. I'm scared of roller coasters. So this ain't for me. Like, I, I'm okay with telling people. Look at that. Look at that. That's nothing, though. That's nothing. You there was well. a kid over here who forgot to yell until he made it down. Like, he didn't yell until he landed. And then he was like, ah! And then start panicking right before they went on the first time. That's why I think they jumped off. He, he like, I got your excuses all on camera. And they valid. They all valid. Valuable excuses. Let's just say he let a little girl beat you. He didn't want to get on Skydiver. At this moment in my life, Skydiver was nothing. I got to the top of the mountain with Big Shot of Las Vegas. Oh, as well as other drop towers. Now, the only attraction at this park that was really, really worth my time was Desert Storm. It was a shaky coaster too, but not as shaky as Shockwave at Six Flags over Texas. That video will be coming out sometime in the future. But on Desert Storm, I could feel the track shaking, and it wasn't even a windy day that day. Now the coaster does offer views of the surrounding area. You can see downtown Phoenix from afar, even downtown Tempe. But it's a quick ride only using one train, so sometimes that queue line will be long. Now Splashdown, the food ride underneath was closed due to the weather. It was cold that day. There are other rides, rides for the kids, such as a smaller drop tower, bumper carts, and other colorful-like rides. But yeah, the park to me felt like a family fun center than a music park. Like I said before, the park suffered from its size. Placed next to a freeway, also a former mall, the Metro Center, as well as Walmart, so it's not really much to expand on. But I guess the park is good for people who don't want to spend a lot of money, but when people really want their theme park fixed, they must go west. Or wait until Mattel Adventure Park opens, wherever that happens.